folks, Michael McGee here. Today, in accordance with my business, I had to come to Talent's Lumber Mill to get some stuff, and I happened to see these big old monstrous logs, and I thought, what in the world kind are they? And I looked them over, and when I went to the back, I'm gonna show you what I found. Oyster mushrooms. These are shelf mushrooms that grow on dead wood. They are really good to eat. These mushrooms right here are good eating mushrooms. I'm gonna harvest them. I'm gonna take them back. Johnny Talent over here, who owns the business, gave me permission. He said I can get all I want and come back for more if more grow. If you live in the Jamestown, Tennessee area, or anywhere in the Upper Cumberlands, if you need sawmill lumber, dressed lumber, he does great tongue and groove pine. He does siding. I'll show you what I'm doing right here. I'm putting a ceiling on and siding. I've done inside and outside. You can look him up, Talent Lumber. But for now, we're gonna be getting these mushrooms right here and get them to the house. All right, that'll be all right there. I'm glad I had this <laughs> water bag. That's a bunch of good mushrooms. I'm gonna show you a couple different things you can do with them because right now, and all winter long, I mean, they grow in pretty cold weather, you can find these oyster mushrooms. So let's get to the house and get to cooking. All right, we made it home and naturally it is raining. All my wood got wet but we'll deal with that later. Right now it's time to eat. So what I'm gonna do right now in this recipe is the most simple thing you can do with these and that's just fry them up in butter straight other than just eating them raw. And you could probably do that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up and throw them in a skillet of hot butter and we're gonna just season them gently and eat them. And they will be good, I guarantee you. Folks, what we're going to do now, get it in that butter and fry it. That butter is good and hot. What we do is we just throw a little salt on it and then we throw the camp dog. This stuff is some mighty good stuff. It belongs on everything basically that you want to eat. It's just really good stuff. And a mushroom is just a empty canvas waiting for you to paint whatever picture you want. The picture we want is Cajun food. All right, the next step we have in our process, we're gonna take this food dehydrator. I gotta clean it up, it's a little dirty. It's just been sitting here. But you fill it with water, Inside, there's a tiny little hole and that insulates from the heat of your stove and you can put fruit or whatever you want to dry on this surface on your wood stove and it won't cook it, but it'll just dry it out. Now, for those of you with electricity, you can easily just use a dehydrator and that's fine. That's just what we've got and how we do it. We got our first batch ready. Gonna take it on in the house. It's a little bit chilly out here. We don't have the fire out here going. We got the fire in the house going. The lighting is not good in there, but that's where it's gonna take place. 
I'm gonna set it down there on the on the cooler end of the stove, which is above the oven, and fill this thing with water on the underside. It, it it's not wet. You don't put water on the top. The water goes in this what it's what's it called a I don't know what it's called a little reservoir inside here, and so let's get in there and do that right quick. All right, guys, it's time we've got our first batch out. The second batch is cooking. We are going to have us some nice, I don't know, sandwiches or something, but we're going to try it, just the mushroom. Everybody's going to get a little bit to try out. I fried them good and crispy. Everybody get you one. They're not real crispy. They're just cooked well done. That butter, I tell you, use butter. You will not regret it. Use camp dog seasoning and salt. You will not regret it. Mmm. Is that ever good? You've seen me eat some questionable things on this channel. This is not one of them. There is not a doubt about this. No charcoal needed. Mmm. That is delicious. I don't know what in the world is going on with them ducks and chickens and guineas, but they're out there having an unbelievable powwow, and I don't know if they're happy, sad, mad, or glad, but they're doing something. Look at that nice big old piece of mushroom. That is a delicacy. Mm. I want to know what you boys think. Mm. Folks, keep your eyes open. When you get a chance and you see something like this, nab it. Get permission if you don't own the land and nab it. It is some good stuff. You have to be on your toes and you can't let something get in the way like I don't have time because Otherwise, you never will get anything. Make time for it, if at all possible. It's like these, these boys. I, had, I don't have to make time for them, but I do because I love them so much. Mm. Is that good or what? Mm. Mm. Matt, I'd feel better if you took one more. Oh, he got the best looking piece in the box. Mm. Mm. <laughs> man, man, oh man, oh man. Well, folks, that's how we go about frying them. This is how we go about drying them. And I've got quite a few more in my bag still. So I'm not sure if I'm going to bring you any more mushroom videos or not with this, but. If I do, more than likely it'll be about how to use the dried mushrooms after they're dried. I might bring you something like that. If, uh, if you have any questions, just drop down in the comments. I'll be happy, more than happy to respond because I would respond anyway. <laughs> I try to respond to each and every comment that comes in. So we appreciate you so much. We hope that you can learn from us how to get food for free and how to survive if there's no grocery store. But that's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.